Hello everyone, welcome to another trailer time. We've got trailers and it's time. The dog just made some really weird noises. I was a little bit shocked to see what was happening. First trailer of the day is a trailer for a game called Thymisia. I'm very excited to see the thighs in this video. Rated M for mature. Okay, it's rated M. What? Dark Souls? Oh, it is Dark Souls. More Bloodborne than Dark Souls. I was promised thighs, and I'm not seeing any thighs. That's a lot of blood. We're in like someone's butt. Oh, it's a classic case of they've got a bat in the butt. It's a little B&B. &B. Dimesia. I hate masks like this. Oh, that's a Team 17. I can't wait to uh, to see the NFTs from that game. Very exciting. Next trailer with the slide whistle. Spoilers. It's for a uh, game called Falling Out. I do need a vacation. Nah, I mean, sometimes they do. I don't like working together. Is this just Spelunky? That was a fart noise. This really is just belonging. Some of you will learn about that in school. Here's a trailer for a game called Haiku the Robot. This looks bleak. Oh, it's a Metroid game. some like banger music it's out now on steam it needs some like uh, you know some music it needs some better music in there uh this trailer is for a game i don't remember it's all in japanese maybe this is for edf I don't know what that says. This is definitely EDF. Wow, what are these graphics? Whoa! 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 Why 
When does this come out? That looks so stupid. August 25th. Earth Defense Forces 6. Is that a global release or is that only... Oh, wait, we're not done. <laughs> well, I hope that comes to the U.S. this year because that looked really fun with graphics. Next trailer. Trailer for a game called Sentry. Alien threat detected. It's one of you, chat. Sentry online. <laughs> Which one of you is the alien? Objective update. Oh my God, it's 6.5. He's so good. Wait, those are just humans. Why is it so loud? Who's controlling the volume here? Objective update. Whoa! Oh, shit. That's kind of cool. Shoot that window? Oh, and he like sacrificed himself. Yo, that game looks fucking cool. Wishlist that on Steam chat. It's called Sentry. Sentrygame.com. Is this where we learn that these people are actually humans? Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Next trailer we've seen about 30 times, but my audience really likes this type of game. Um, and apparently there's partial nudity in it, so. Well, 
There you go. That on the Switch. Next trailer is a game called Red Out 2. However, if I know what this is, it's actually called Wipeout 2. Good music. It also looks very good graphically. Comes out May 26th. Remember Extreme G? Remember F0? F's in the chat for F0. Man, one of the greatest soundtracks of all time. <sighs> Next trailer is for a game called Loot River. This came out today, I think. Apparently it's pretty good. out now it's available on game pass you can download it right now if you have game pass i don't know what this next trailer is but i guess we'll just see this is the dying light final hell raid update What is the hell raid? Wait. Oh, this is Dying Light 1. Oh. Not Dying Light 2. I forgot they made this. Real weird them to be promoting that we got three trailers left first trailer is for trek to yomi this comes out on uh thursday i believe this week it was the launch trailer I didn't realize there were supernatural elements to this game. There you go. That's Trek to Yomi. We got a trailer for Apex Legends. This is the Savior's gameplay trailer. Where did the creature come from? The hell is that thing? Came from Balls on Why did it attack? Hey, with me! Advance together! We may never have the answers to these burning questions, but one thing is certain. 
If it wasn't for the valiant actions of the legends, the devastation would have been far worse. Buy beachfront property, they said, and I did. Yeah, you're living in a rib cage. While many fought bravely, it was a heroic new legend who led the charge. People of the Outlands, you have a new champion, the hero of Harris Valley, the one and only Newcastle. Checkmate. What? Going for a ride. Man, this makes Apex look so good. The battle is far from over. It's go time. Busted a buster. The legends are already enjoying a unique and challenging new environment. But that's not all. The mysterious IMC armories will reward daring adventurers willing to brave the dangers within. Target down. Time to break some hearts. Yeah, this is a good trailer. Walk it off, mate. Huh. <laughs> what is rank reloaded? There's no telling what threats lie ahead, legends. I'm a diamond man. You won't crush me. Whatever happens, you'll need to protect each other and let no one fall. All right, let's finish this. Real heroes, huh. get back up. Approved by Eduardo Silva, paid for by the syndicate. That was a good trailer. <clears throat> that comes out May 10th. That's really good. Pretty good. Final trailer of the day. It's this Warcraft mobile game reveal. It's about 10 minutes long. I haven't seen any of this yet. Let's check a look. Well, quiet. What? Pretty high production <laughs> Why does the goblin have a Mega Man arm? And I'm Adam, and today we have the honor of introducing you to Warcraft, Warcraft Arclight Rumble. Rumble! So what is this Hello. game? What is this game? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mobile strategy, fast-paced hero collector. And villain collector. And villain collector game that has a vast PvE campaign. It also has dungeons and raids and PvP and co-op and everything you'd expect of a Warcraft game from Blizzard. We love games. We were super inspired by tower defense games. Our game isn't really tower defense. It's more our style to do a tower offense game. It's joyful chaos. And we're aiming to bring our Blizzard best to mobile games that inspire us. Chaos reigns. All the chaos. Can't use chaos twice. This game's gonna make a lot of money. In basements of taverns all across Azeroth, a mysterious machine has been found. Is it new? 
Has it always been there? Powered by Gnomish Engineering and Arclight. This machine has been generating famous and infamous battlegrounds for your entertainment. So when the battle begins, you'll come to the battlefield with your army, ready to go assault the boss. So there's a base for you to defend. If the base dies, your run is over. Also, there's meeting stones on the map. If we control the meeting stone, we can play things closer to the boss. If the enemy controls the meeting stone, they're going to come at us a little bit closer as well. There's also towers on the map for you to go capture that let you have a forward position so you can assault the boss directly. There's also shinies that you can get. There's gold nodes and treasure chests to plunder. You got to get the shiny. Give me the shiny. Shiny. The more gold that you can get, the more chaos you can rain upon the field. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this game is that every mini has their own per Hey, they're having fun with this trailer. I kind of like it. Personality in every single one of them thinks they're the coolest. And they're all wrong, except for Blackrock Pyromancer. Yes! In Warcraft Arclight Rumble, we have five families. The Alliance! The Noble Alliance with a lot of defensive units and spells. Ha -ha! There's also the Horde. The Proud there Horde we go. that will overpower your enemies. There we go. Heed my call! But there's also Blackrock to sear a hole in your enemy's defenses. Let's okay. throw down! There's, of course, the undead. You can bring a skeleton of troops to the battlefield. Rise. And beasts. I don't know about beasts. We also have a literal stampede from the plains and jungles of Azeroth. With all of the chaos, chaos going on with the troops, we need somebody to lead this rabble. Leaders are a way to cater your strategy and build a specific play style that suits you. If you want to play Siege leaders. units, go for Sneed. I'm down. Sneed has a trait called Sneed's Greed that makes all of your Siege units grab extra gold. My personal favorite is Ren. With his ability, Black in the Sky, it makes all of your flying units one gold cheaper so you can fill the air with chaos. I just realized she's British. I didn't, I don't know why that took almost five minutes for me to discover. Yes. There are tons of strategies that you can assemble with this. There are over 60 minis for you to play with. But you don't need to have an understanding of Warcraft to be able to embrace the chaos. Yes. Great. A sense of exploration and wonder should come across regardless. Speaking of wonder, let's go play a game. We're going to do it live. I mean, it'll be edited later, but that's okay. Welcome to Jinrok's Swole Troll Isle. A test of strength. I hated this This is a fun boss. map because I did the design for it and Justine did the art. We have our animators and our character artists to make all this happen. There's so many people that go into making this a reality. The goal of the Swole Troll Patrol is to punch your base in the face. Smash that start button. Let's go. Okay. Here comes a troll. He's coming down our lane. And the first thing we're going to do is have some harpies go say hello. There's a kobold that's already trying to steal gold over there. We're going to let him go. Guys, please remember that while you might have strong feelings about this being a mobile game, which I get it, you're allowed to have that. Don't insult people for it. Like, what the fuck like, is wrong? Some of you are just like massive raging assholes in the chat. It's crazy. If, if you keep doing it, I'm just going to ban you. Before that, though, there's a bat rider coming, and we have a huntress. Let's play a huntress to help this out a little bit. And here comes another swole troll. Let's send out some chickens to meet that swole troll. But those trolls are definitely relentless. I'm actually going to lose. No! <laughs> so this we is don't like, make these maps to be this easy. This is like Clash of Clans, <laughs> right? Lose. You designed this map. Smash that start button. Let's go. All right, here comes this swole troll, and we need some harpies to go take care of that swole troll. There's some chickens coming. I don't care about those chickens, but that kobold, I do. That kobold definitely needs to get out of here. We yep. need some more gold, though. Let's go the this is area sense. right Come. here so that we can fuel our harpy addiction. All right, good. Have those chickens come in and peck that swole troll just like it's a snack. Oh my gosh, look at all of these units coming in here. But one chain lightning is all we need. Chain lightning's really good. Hopefully that kobold sneaks by. Aw, there you go. Woo! Overtime. Oh, we're in overtime. overtime. All right. Down to the wire. Harpies, come on. Time's running Time's out. Running out. Too close. All right, all right, all right. Let's do a wombo combo. Brilliant. I shot up. Oh, he won. 
That's just one of the 70 plus maps that we have for you to play all over Azeroth. Gah! So I wonder how it's time gate. Going back to Stranglethorn, deep in the jungle, is Gurubashi Arena. King Mukla is there with his Bananchucks and Banandalia. And there's a couple of apes in Ungro that have some banana armaments. We've got the Benini Gun by Ukluk. Ungro also has Devil Sore Queen. Oh, wow. The tyrant of the area, and she comes stomping down, and you just have to take her down before she bites your base. Tasty base. There's always going to be unique challenges depending on each map. When it comes to maps that require you to be able to take charge of the high ground or combat massive cannon bombardment from a ship, there's so many ways that you can customize that your a using talent. Uh, thing right there? Their abilities can be augmented in all different sorts of directions. Mayev has a really awesome talent called Cloak of Shadows. Wherever you play her on the map, she will cast Smoke Bomb and stealth everything around her so you can make a mobile assault squad anywhere on the map. Warcraft. Warcraft. Arclight. Arclight. Rumble. Rumble. This game has so many ways to play varied content every single day, every single week. You get to play a new dungeon every week. We didn't talk about dungeons. We didn't talk about dungeons. You can play dungeon solo, or if you want to play co-op, you can as well. We didn't talk about co-op. We forgot to talk about co-op. Co-op, you can join a guild, you can play with your friends. You can join a guild and you can fight your friends. Fight, fight, fight. You can go play raids with them. There's so many things to do in this game. Is that Nixia? You're just gonna have to stay tuned for more information, aren't you? Close Beta is coming to limited regions soon, so keep an eye on social media for more information. On behalf of the team, we are so excited for you guys to get your hands on this, and we really, really look forward to your feedback and input. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Enjoy the joy. Enjoy the chaos. The chaos, it never ends. I think it could use some more chaos. Chaos, 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 chaos. See? <laughs> See what I'm saying? We still got three minutes or a minute left. What happens in this minute? What is this? Oh, oh it's like a, this is a new trailer. Really? They're playing this song? F it, let's go. Where's the chorus? I'm into it. Mm-hmm. Hey, that actually looks pretty good. That, uh, I'm kind of, kind of curious what, uh, what that looks like how what is uh what is pre-registering wait there's the gear store oh they've got like t-shirts and stuff out oh god merchandise i have to get off this website ah it's burning my eyes ah um pre-register with battle net i'm gonna click that button Thanks for signing up. I suck. <laughs> it's always funny. It's always good. It's always good. Trailer of the day. We actually had some good trailers. Thought the Warcraft thing looked good. I think um, Trek to Yomi or, or y Yumi or however you say it uh, looks good. Um, 
that ge- that FPS game that had like tower defense elements. That looks good. Starts with an S. Sentry, I think was the name of it. That looks good. Um, Loot River looks pretty. There's, there's some games. There's some games right there. It look pretty interesting. EDF. It's nice to see an EDF game that doesn't look like it was made in 2005. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, more importantly, as I really want to know, let me know your full thoughts on mobile games and why they're the worst creation in the world. Okay? I'm expecting essays in the chat. I need at least 400 words minimum. Do it. We'll see you Thursday for some more trailer time.